Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna be doing another wig from Eunice or Eunice. I don't know how it is, but anyway, it came in this box with this stuff in it, this wig cap, which I like way better than the old one. It's cuter, and I think it's like better because it's like more like a stocking cap. I don't know, not like a stocking cap, but like I don't know, I don't know. You gonna see. But it came with lashes, uh, elastic band, and this thing. At, at first when I saw it, I thought it was freaking. Y'all, I was struggling for the camera to focus. I didn't focus this whole video. It was getting me tight. I thought it was like lipstick, but then when I opened it, it's a freaking brush. Mad cute for when you're putting your makeup on your cap or on your lace, whatever. That's mad cute. I thought it was lipstick at first. I was like, oh, cute. But then when I saw this, I was like, oh, even cuter. And then it goes back in there like that, nice and neat. Oh, and this is what I was talking about. You know how like a regular wig cap is like... You gonna see but anyway this part you're gonna brush your um hair back you can do it in braids or however you want but i make sure my hair is flat iron and then i just do a ponytail and then put some bobby pins at the top so it can make like a flat kind of ting if i i, would, I can i can't oh i'm bugging <laughs> I can't do this like if my hair is like mad curly and big or else I'm gonna have a big old it's gonna look mad big at the bottom but you see how this cap is like mad see-through that's what I was talking about like if you want to do the wig cap the bald cap method this is definitely a good cap to do it with and then this is the part when you want to put your makeup on your wig cap but I didn't do that because I wasn't gonna keep the wig on for too long and make sure your hair is in that cap, honey. But it's okay because we're using spray and not actual glue. So it shouldn't be that bad. But this is the wig. Um, it's definitely way better to do your hair on the wig head. Like style it and do whatever you want on the wig head. And then just put it on because it's way easier and more convenient like that. But put your, your um, wig where you want it. Once you have it when you, where you want it, you're going to put the hairs, move the hairs back with a clip or whatever you have. Then once you have it where you want it and all the hairs is out of the way, you're going to push the lace back. And you can put makeup on your lace if you want to. But this is the spray I use. You can use a different spray if you like. I like using that one. Make sure you have your blow dryer connected. And then what you're going to do is spray a nice, good layer on both sides. Make sure it's a good amount on the ears because the ears love coming off. And then you dry it. Not all the way, all the way dry, but dry it like a little bit, like halfway. And then after you dry it real, real good, we're going to do this again, the spraying part again. Mm -hmm. Same thing, really. Spray and dry, spray and dry. I'll be doing it three times. You can do it five times if you want like a more hold. Just make sure you're drying after every time you spray. So spray a good layer dry it a good time and then do it again i think i don't know i think five times is good like maybe that's the most i don't know you definitely want to have a towel around so you can clean off the excess um hairspray because it's going to be dripping and you don't want that going in your eyes i thought it was dry enough but it's not dry if it's if you touch it and it looks like that it's easy to come off then it's not dry you want it to look like this, like sticking to your finger or like little stringy um, pieces of glue coming off. You're going to see it. Once it looks like that, you're just going to pull your lace down where you want it. Make sure the cap is not showing. And I didn't cut the freaking ear pieces off. I should have cut the ear pieces off. But you're going to see at the top my, my freaking cap was showing. Yeah, right there. So you got to make sure you pull it down where you want it to be. And then hold the lace down like you got to grab your whole freaking face and just dry it with the blow dryer really dry 
and make sure it's all the way dry once it's all the way dry y'all you can see that thing gave me like an eyebrow lift i was looking crazy but once it's all the way dry you're gonna take your scissors and cut it in three separate parts and then push the lace back like to the hairline so you could be able to cut it we're gonna put more spray anyway so it's okay if it comes off I have to do this part close to the mirror because I cannot see. Then we're going to spray another layer to get all the parts we missed of the spray. And we're going to put our um, elastic band on. This is what helps it melt. You can put, before you do the spray though, you can put some makeup on it for it to be even more melted. Like to give like no lace at all. But I'm about to take it off in a little bit so it don't even really matter. And then you just dry it real good and make sure she's dry. Now you're going to have a whole lot of glue on your forehead. You want to get your towel and get some alcohol and just rub all the glue off. Now for the baby hairs, you're going to get your cute little mini um, flat iron. I got this from Walgreens, I think. You could probably get it at Walmart too. And your mousse. You can use mousse or like gel, whatever you want to use. It's up to you. Um, I'll be cutting it small and then um, long. Small in the side where the wig is at, like towards your ears, and then long on the other sides toward like your eyes. But um, you're gonna curl it up or down, whatever way you like it. I feel like it don't even matter. But I be curling it up. I feel like it's like literally the same. And then you're gonna get your mousse and put it on the comb part of the edge brush. And yeah, put it on them things. Make sure they on there good. And when you do your baby hairs, you got to hold and swoop, hold and swoop. Hold one finger, take one finger to hold the baby hairs while you swoop or else it's going to be all over the place. Like you definitely got to make sure you hold. And then she looks so freaking cute. I feel like I've definitely been getting better with my baby hairs and my parts and my side parts. But I still got to do a little more practice because it looked cute but not as cute like how I want it to look. But after this, you're going to just neaten your hair up. This is why I say it's better to... Oh, no, hold on. We're not finished because you got to get your own GG Collection lashes, okay? If you ain't got them, it's about that time, honey. Go get them with the own GG Collection glue. Put some glue on the lashes. And, you know, you can't forget your lip gloss. This one is Gloss du Soleil. Yeah, I can't even pronounce that name. But anyway, it's cool. It's fancy. Yeah, my lips are so freaking chapped. Thank God for that lip gloss, because, honey, them things was chapped. But you put your lip gloss on, and yeah, this is the finished look. It's looking cute, looking nice. I really wanted to show y'all the lashes, but the freaking camera was not focusing for nothing. But this is how the hair looks. She looks so neat. Um, It looks like so neat like this, because I styled it on the wig head before I put it on. But that's what helps me make it look fire. Um, if you have trouble doing it while it's on your head, I think you should do it like that. And this is the bag. She looking so cute. No bump in the bag. And yeah, this hair is really soft and really cute. Y'all know I like your knees. I'm going to put all the info in the description box. And let me know if you like it. I feel like this color is really cute on me. And I freaking love straight hair. But look, I love y'all so much. Thank y'all for watching. I'll see you later.